For years, the world has worried about threats from Iran, but in 2024, Tehran unveiled something that truly shocked everyone, the Fatah-1 hypersonic missile. This isn't just another missile, it's a game changer, designed to outsmart and outrun even the most advanced defense systems. The Fatah-1 can fly at incredible speeds and maneuver mid-flight, making it nearly impossible to intercept. Its debut sent shockwaves from Washington to Tel Aviv, instantly raising the stakes in the Middle East. Iran didn't stop there. In 2025, they introduced the Qasem Basir, a missile built to evade decoys and jam enemy defenses. These aren't isolated projects. They're part of a broader strategy to overwhelm and bypass Western missile shields. Iran is building a family of advanced missiles, each with a specific role, and together they threaten to upend the region's balance of power. The old rules of missile defense no longer apply. Suddenly, the world faces a new reality. Iran can strike faster, farther, and with more precision than ever before. The Fatah-1 is more than a weapon, it's a warning. The era of easy answers in missile defense is over. Hypersonic means fast, really fast. We're talking over Mach 5 or more than a mile per second. By the time you hear the launch, the missile is already halfway to its target. But speed isn't the only problem. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles, hypersonic missiles can maneuver unpredictably in flight. Imagine trying to block a penalty kick, but the ball swerves and dips at the last second. That's what missile defense systems are up against. Old defenses rely on predicting a missile's path. Hypersonic missiles turn that into guesswork. The Fatah-1 combines the speed of a ballistic missile with the agility of a cruise missile. This makes interception nearly impossible. By the time a defense system reacts, the missile has already changed course. Iran's new missiles are designed to exploit this weakness, rendering billions in defense technology nearly obsolete. The result, a missile that can dodge, weave and strike before anyone can respond. Military planners are scrambling for answers, but right now, the advantage is with the attacker. Hypersonic technology has changed the rules of the game. The world's most advanced defenses are suddenly outmatched, and Iran knows it. Theory became reality on June 13, 2025, when Iran unleashed its new missiles in response to an Israeli strike. Operation True Promise 3 was a massive, coordinated barrage targeting key Israeli military sites. For the first time, Hypersonic missiles broke through Israel's vaunted defenses, hitting multiple strategic locations. The psychological impact was immediate. Israel's impenetrable shield had been breached. Previous attacks had been mostly intercepted, but this time the Fatah-1 and its kin slipped through. Iran's strategy was clear. Overwhelm defenses with sheer numbers and advanced technology. The Arrow and David sling systems were busy with older missiles, while the hypersonics found their mark. The message, even the best defense can be beaten. The era of near-perfect missile defense is over. Iran proved it could strike at the heart of its adversaries. The world took notice. The Fatah-1 is just the tip of Iran's missile iceberg. Iran has the largest and most diverse missile arsenal in the Middle East, over 3,000 missiles and counting. Their arsenal includes everything from short-range rockets to medium-range missiles capable of reaching Israel and Europe. Many are hidden in underground tunnels, ready to launch at a moment's notice. Newer missiles use solid fuel, making them faster to deploy and harder to detect. Some, like the Kebar Shikan, can even adjust their course mid-flight for pinpoint accuracy. Iran's strategy is simple. Overwhelm, outmaneuver and survive any first strike. The Fatah-1 is the latest but far from the only threat. Israel's missile defense is the most advanced in the world with layers like Arrow David Sling and Iron Dome. The US supports with systems like Thayad and SM-3 interceptors. For years this shield worked until hypersonic missiles arrived. The Fatah-1 flies too low for space-based interceptors and too fast for lower altitude systems. Its unpredictable path makes interception nearly impossible. Iran's strategy, saturate defenses with cheap, numerous missiles, then let the advanced ones slip through. Defenders run out of interceptors long before attackers run out of missiles. The June 2025 strikes proved the shield can be breached. The balance has shifted. The real nightmare 
nuclear weapons. By mid-2025, Iran had enough enriched uranium for multiple bombs and was close to weapons-grade material. A hypersonic missile with a nuclear warhead is an existential threat, unstoppable and devastating. Israeli strikes aim to slow Iran's nuclear program but may have only accelerated it. Now Iran faces a choice rush for a bomb or risk another attack. The world faces a dilemma strike and risk war or wait and risk a nuclear armed Iran. The Fatah one means if Iran goes nuclear it already has the perfect delivery system. The clock is ticking. Can anyone stop Iran's new missiles? Right now the answer is no. Existing defenses were built for predictable threats, not maneuvering hypersonics. The US and allies are racing to develop new tech, lasers, space sensors, agile interceptors, but these are years away. For now, Iran holds the advantage and the world is in a dangerous window of vulnerability. Military strategy may shift back to deterrence, threaten overwhelming retaliation to prevent an attack. The Cold War logic of mutually assured destruction is back. That Will this lead to a new arms race or a tense stalemate? One thing is clear, Iran's hypersonic missile has changed the game. The illusion of Western technological superiority is gone. The world is faster and far more dangerous.